everyone, this is Marty with Pezzadoodle Designs and I wanted to show you a fun, easy technique using your Luminart primary elements with some beauty. And you can make these really pretty, almost um, glass-like, shimmering, colorful tiles. So I'm going to start off with a piece of chipboard. And it's um, fairly sturdy chipboard because the UT is pretty thick and this won't curl up. These are from a set from Maya Road, but if you have um, your own full chipboard, you can cut it with Sizzix dies in any shape you want, or use one of the pre-made shapes. And I'm going to start by coloring the base of the tile, like this one. And you want to pick two or three colors. Make sure that they are colors that are close to each other on the color wheel. If you get colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel, be careful because when they mix, they'll make mud. But these mix together nicely. So I'm going to start with my lightest color, this sunshine yellow. I'm going to put quite a bit on my tile. I'm using a Ranger blending, ink blending foam tool. And next I'm going to use my pink. It's called Raspberry. I love the Adirondack dye ink pads because the colors are so vivid. You can see I'm not doing a whole lot of ink. Just a little bit. This is Watermelon. A little bit more red to it. And then I usually go back and add just a little bit more yellow. Now that my darker colors are on. Okay. So there's our colorful little tile bases. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add Versamark and then we're going to pour on the UD. Now the Versamark will help the UD stick but UD is basically large grains of embossing powder and we're using clear so it's not going to stick completely so when you begin to heat it you want to hold your heat gun up high at a distance I have some big chunks in here from using it with my melting pot so I'm going to move those so you sprinkle it on get a good covering And then move the excess out of your way. Careful when you put your tile back down. I hate when I drop it and all my UD flings off. So you can see I've got a pretty thick coating on there. So we're just going to heat that up. You want to heat it until it's melted and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay now we have our tiles and you can see that glass like top they have now. And just a reminder Never, never, never touch hot UD because it will burn you. It's not quite as bad as a hot glue gun, but it's close. Okay, so our next step. We're going to take some Versamark again. 
and our primary elements, two or three colors of those. So I have, let's see, Summer Breeze right here. Back a little bit. Moss Green. And African Jade. So I'm going to cover this tile again with Versamark. Get it nice and sticky. And this is just a soft, soft brush. And I'm going to brush these primary elements on in a sort of random pattern. Just like I did my ink. Very random. And you don't have to cover the whole thing. Because you want some of that ink to show through also. Okay. Do my second tile real quick. This one I'm going to start with my African Jade. Okay, so you can see it's just very random. There's really not a lot of technique to this other than knowing the order to do the steps. And now we're going to heat it again with UD on top. And what that's going to do, it's going to cause the primary elements to sort of move and the UD will get hot and sort of drop through. So it gives the primary elements a sort of marbled look. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to put some on top. Let me just cover, cover your primary elements before you start blowing air all over the place with your heat gun. So we're going to put some UD on top. However, we can't put Versamark back on this because it'll just take the primary elements right off. So we're just going to sprinkle it on. We don't need to use quite as much this time. Just sprinkle it on top. And then when you start heating, again, heat from a distance. As you're heating, if you want to sort of manipulate and change how the primary elements is marbling and stuff, just sprinkle a little bit of UD on as you're working on heating it. If you know, you've know you heated it all, it's all melted, and you want to add a little bit more, just sprinkle it in, in certain spots. Okay, now you can see that marbling sort of look that the UD on top gave the primary elements. They're very shimmery and very unique. Each one you make will be different because you can't copy exactly every time. So I think this is just a fun thing to do with chipboard. It's different, it's unique, you can use it on your paper crafts. I've used them on cards, you can use them on mixed media projects or canvases on your wall. Just a lot of different ways that you can use these. So I hope you guys try it out and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you!